right, looks like we're up. <laughs> Colin, you ready? Uh, we're excited to be here. Thanks for having us. Uh, before we get started with our demo, we got to take something, take care of something really quick. Uh, Approve was invited to go to Vegas in a couple weeks for the big tech dot or tech cocktail celebrate conference to pitch to Tony Sue and a bunch of other big wigs. So we're excited about it. But Neil and I really have to buy some tickets for some of the events really quick. Uh, do you have the company card? The company card? No, yeah. uh, I I gave that back to the boss. Uh, just put it on your personal card, expense it. I, I would, but I'm still kind of waiting for last month's expenses to oh, come through. That's kind of a bummer how much of a pain that is. Yeah, Cullen, do you have the company card? Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, he's got it on a post-it note. Nice. How classic. Nice. Uh, here you go. Nice. Uh, can I get a copy of yeah, that? Yeah, I'm just, just going to gonna write the number down on my uh, envelope of receipts here that I have. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, make sure you uh, get the CB2 yeah. code off of that. Got it. Okay, got it. I'm going to hang on to this. All right, so buying stuff for your job can be a pain. It can be insecure, as you just saw. It can be fraudulent. At the very least, it's a waste of everyone's time reconciling expenses. Approve is out to fundamentally change the way businesses buy things online. Think PayPal, but for business spending. You click the Approve button at checkout, and you can charge your purchase right to your company or client without needing a credit card. Uh, it's kind of like having a virtual corporate account that you and your employees and contractors can take anywhere Approve is accepted. Neil? So tonight we're going to do more than just show you how to buy something with Approve. We're actually going to build an e-commerce site and then use it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, let's start with that uh, checkout page. Great. So it looks pretty typical. But the first thing we need to do now is create a merchant account on the Approve website. This is really easy to do, some basic information about your company, pretty standard practice for any payment gateway that you've dealt with before. We're also going to create what's called an API key, and this is going to help your website, help our website, talk to the approved servers to complete the transaction on the back end, and that's all done. So now we're going to talk about a little bit of server-side code. We're going to create something, once Colin gets our API key here on his clipboard, we're going to create something called a payment request. What that is, is basically the contents of your shopping cart. Remember that when a shopper is using Approve, they're going to ask somebody to pay for it who is not the person who was actually on your shopping cart website. So we want to make sure that that person gets a chance to see what they're paying for. Only makes sense. We're also going to put a secure hash on this information. That helps prevent tampering so that the person knows exactly what they're paying for. All right, once that's done, we're ready to put the uh, button itself on the website. And that is done through something called Approve.js. And that's a JavaScript library that Approve created so that it makes it easy for you to load in that payment request we just created, uh, tell Approve where your logo is, and most importantly, capture the transaction ID that's going to come back after the shopper uh, finishes the transaction with Approve. And then at the bottom of the page, down by the credit card stuff, we're going to put a little HTML tag here that's going to display where the button shows up. And I think that means we are ready to show a button. The internet gods are with us today. Uh, so now we are going to take that transaction ID and we're going to create a payment against Approve using that API key using a RESTful web service call. And the interesting thing about Approve that's a little different is that that might come back as pending from Approve. All that means is that Approve is going out and asking that person who is named as the payer to approve this purchase. So we're also going to create a webhook, and that's going to capture the notification that Approve sends us when that transaction is completed. So now we've got, we're going to log this here just because it's a demo, but ordinarily what you do is update the order status in your database and go ahead and fulfill that order as though it were all complete. And I think that's all done. Michael, uh, why don't we go ahead and buy some uh, tickets? Sweet. Uh, for those of you who don't speak code, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cl click the Approve button at checkout. Notice the embedded modal. Uh, we don't ever leave the merchant site. We continue to display the merchant logo. Um, I'm gonna, I can create an account right here. I never have to go to Approve.com. Let's just assume I have an account, so I'm going to log in. Um, and from here, I need to decide who I want to pay for my purchase. Who do I want to ask? My client, my manager, my boss, whoever it is. In this case, it's Cullen. 
I'm going to send Cullen an email. I'm going to add a little note as to why I want to pay for this. From here, when he sends the request, approve puts the cart into a pending state. Okay, So that cart hasn't been abandoned. That's pretty key. We're giving the merchant the longest time to close that sale. Cullen gets an email or someday a notification on his phone. He comes to approve, sees there's a purchase request from me, clicks on it, decides how he wants to pay. He can pick any kind of credit card. He can pick a bank account and approves the purchase. Our API communicates back with that merchant, tells him to release the cart. I get an email saying the purchase was done, and that's it. I just bought something without using a personal card and without using a corporate card. No expense reports, no reimbursement. Cullen doesn't have to reimburse me. Um, Cullen doesn't have to. Uh, he knows there was no security, no spending abuse, all that kind of stuff. Um, our first merchants that are coming online, uh, salonandspauniforms.com, part of Brett Broll's e-commerce empire, uh, selling hospital scrubs and also chef uniforms. What do they all have in common? Uh, professionals needing to buy stuff for their job that need reimbursement. We're also, uh, our Magento plugin will be uh, online for the Magento store in the next week or two. We're working with a local developer here, Webtex Software, Alex Scheimanitz. We wanted to give them a shout out. Um, in general, our message is that merchants need to stop treating business shoppers like consumers. Businesses are spending money in a very different way. Approve is out to recognize that and, and fundamentally change the way businesses buy stuff online. The next version of Approve will include uh, the ability to create budgets and teams. So I don't need to email Cullen anymore as long as I'm spending within the rules uh, of my company. Uh, I'm Michael. That's Neil. Cullen. Uh, James, our newest guy, he just moved here. Everyone needs to meet him. Say hi. Uh, come talk to us after. We've got a bunch of clients coming online, a bunch of SaaS clients, a bunch of product clients. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting for us. So thanks for having us. Thanks, everybody.